The FIFA World Cup is one of the most famous sports competitions in the world, but there are some mind-blowing facts about the competition that you probably never knew about. But just before we get into the list, we want to introduce you to one of our major sources for football news, gist and insider scoop. One Football is your one-stop shop for everything football related. Live scores, transfer news, general football updates, literally everything. Also, you can follow your favourite club and favourite players and get all the latest updates about them as a notification from the OneFootball app. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download the OneFootball app. Um, you're welcome. Here are 10 shocking facts about the World Cup that will absolutely blow your brains out. Number 1. No team has ever won the World Cup with a foreign coach. One of the secret ingredients to winning the World Cup is going into the tournament with a coach from your own nationality. If you hire a foreign coach, you're already at a disadvantage. At least, that's what history says. Think back to any country that's won the World Cup and check who their coach was that year. It was someone from their own country. And well, it looks like the big boys know this because all the favourites to win this year's trophy have a coach from their own nationality. Brazil, Portugal, England, France, Spain all have coaches from their own country. Maybe that's why Belgium has never won the World Cup despite having a team which has been so good for years. Martinez out, company in. It could just be the way for Belgium to win the World Cup. But we're just saying. Number 2. New Zealand went undefeated but did not get out of their group. So far, New Zealand are the only team in the history of the World Cup to go undefeated in the group stages and still not get out of their group. As a matter of fact, they were the only nation to not lose a game throughout the 2010 tournament. Even the eventual winners, Spain, lost a group stage game, but the almighty New Zealand didn't. True invincibles. Number 3. Marcello Trobbiani won the World Cup with just one touch of the ball. While Messi's trying for the fifth time and still has not been able to win the World Cup, some other Argentinian, Marcello Trobbiani, played just two minutes and won it. In the 1986 final between Argentina and West Germany, the midfielder was brought on in the 90th minute and was the only change the Argentinians made that day. He came in for Buru Chaga just six minutes after he had scored the winner. And that two-minute cameo and just one touch of the football was all Trobbiani needed to win the biggest prize in the world of sports. Number 4. Qatar is the first host nation to lose their opening game. In the history of the World Cup, the hosts have never failed to pick up points on the opening day of the tournament. Well, until this year. As a matter of fact, Qatar made history in so many ways this year. They became the first Middle Eastern nation to host the World Cup, then became the first host nation to lose their opening game, then crowned it all by becoming the first host nation to be eliminated from the tournament after just two games played. Oh well. Number 5. Giroud won the World Cup without a shot on target. In 2018, Olivier Giroud was France's number one striker throughout the tournament. He played every single game from the group stage all the way to the final. But not only did he not score a goal, he couldn't even manage a single shot on target. Not even by mistake. And by the way, this is not just any player, you know. No one in the history of French football has more international goals than Olivier Giroud. But in 2018, he refused to travel to Russia with his shooting boots. Well, that didn't stop him from getting his winner's medal. If it's the shots on target you're looking for, come to Qatar. He's even scoring this time round. Number 6. World Cup Babies When we say football's a game of passion, many don't really understand what we mean. But, well, here's a stat for you guys. When a country's doing well at the World Cup, the birth rate in that country is bound to go up nine months later. The combination of excitement and alcohol is a very potent one, it would appear. For example, back in 2006, when Germany hosted the World Cup and finished third, the birth rate in that country went up by 10% nine months later. So, which country's birth rate will we be looking out for by September next year? Number 7. Peeing on the Pitch Back at the 1990 World Cup, the Argentina number one had a nasty habit of going number one on the pitch, just beside his goalpost before penalty shootouts. Apparently, it was some kind of good luck charm, and, well, it worked. 
According to him, it started out of desperation. In the quarterfinal against Yugoslavia, he really wanted to pee so bad, but as per the rules of the game, he couldn't leave the pitch. So, he had to do it right there. Well, Argentina ended up winning the shootout. So, when the semi-final against Italy also went to penalties, he decided to do it again. And, well, again, Argentina won. They would, however, end up losing 1-0 to West Germany in the final, and you could say that the Argentina goalkeeper eventually paid for his crimes as he was undone by a penalty. That one came during the game, so there was no time to pee beside the goalpost first. Number 8. A shake cancels a goal Shakes have become really powerful figures in football in the 21st century, but it would appear that they've wielded reasonable power since the 80s. So, it was a game between France and Q8 in the group stage of the 1982 World Cup, and as you'd expect, France were leading. The score was 3-1 when France scored again and the Q80 players surrounded the ref to protest the goal. According to them, they heard a whistle go just before the ball went into the back of the net, so they stopped playing. Well, the ref didn't blow his whistle, so there was nothing he could do about their pleas. Or was there? Seeing as his players' pleas were falling on deaf ears, the president of the Kuwait FA, Sheikh Fahad Al Ahmad Al Sabah, or just Prince Fahad, came down from the stands where he was sitting and watching the game, said a few words to the ref, and the goal was chalked off. Nobody knows what was said, and sincerely, why it was even said. Because Kuwait was never going to win that game anyway. France even later scored to end the game at 4-1. But whatever Prince Farhad told the ref was definitely worth risking his entire career for because, unsurprisingly, he was banned from officiating after that game and the Sheikh was fined £8,000. Number 9. Football, but with arms the first ever World Cup tournament was held in Uruguay in 1930, so you could say that in that particular tournament, nobody really had experience when it came to attending World Cup matches. But, of course, experience or not, we all should know not to carry arms to the stadium, shouldn't we? Well, the Uruguayans didn't. The final was a matchup between hosts Uruguay and their fierce neighbouring rivals, Argentina. There were 68,346 people in attendance that day, and it was reported that between 1,500 to 5,000 revolvers were confiscated at the stadium. Guess the Uruguayans took the term gunning for success a little too literally. Number 10. Neither Messi nor Ronaldo have scored in a knockout game. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, the greatest players to ever grace the sport, have never scored a goal in a World Cup knockout game. All their goals have come in the group stages. Yes, Ronaldo is the only man in the history of the FIFA World Cup to score in five different tournaments, but in those five tournaments, none of those goals have come beyond the group stage. Even when Messi made it to the final in 2014, he failed to get a single goal from the round of 16 to the final. Pretty shocking for players of their calibre, isn't it? But, well, that could very much change this year. So, which of these World Cup facts would you say shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.